traditionally Wexford have caused Dublin problems. Um, I think defensively Wexford probably need to tighten things up. Uh, you know they were probably lucky enough to come out of Longford with, with a victory. Uh, I think uh, Dublin have played probably within themselves so far this year. They've still won the league. You know people said they were you know they weren't the Dublin team that you would expect against uh, against Leash. I think they won that game by 11 points. You know, so what do we expect from Dublin? They can only beat what's put in front of them. I think they are probably, Jim Gavin's uh, probably thinking towards September. I think the great thing, and I've been, in the, I've been in change rooms like the Dublin change room, the great thing about the Dublin change room for those boys at the minute is they know that the only thing they have to worry about is themselves. And if they're right in that dressing room, if their uh, attitude's right, if there's no complacency going into the game. And one of the things that Jim Gavin has done very, very wisely, he's kept rotating the squad. And uh, a lot of players are fighting for places, and that sort of tends to get rid of the complacency. And as I say, I've been in dressing rooms again, and the only thing that Dublin have to guard against probably over the next month or so is complacency. And I think if they can take that uh, out of the game over the next couple of weeks, well then they'll, they'll win the Leinster title probably quite convincingly and they should be uh, okay against Wexford. Wexford will, will cause them problems. They have a forward unit who can rival any other forward unit. But, you know, this Dublin team are, you know, they're a machine. Uh, Fitness-wise, uh, conditioning-wise, I haven't seen a team like them in, in, in long and many today.